Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me on this video for the month of December here on Potter Tongue. My name is Chris, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a collection video showing off all 50, you heard right, 5 zero, 50 Harry Potter wands that I have in my collection. But before I get into all that real quickly, I just want to hark back onto the very first episode that I did on my channel, my first video where I promised to you, the viewer, that I would make one video a month for two years. And this video that I'm doing today is the last video of that two year time period. So I just wanna say it's been great and I'm gonna be continuing into the next year, 2023, for at least one more year of Harry Potter videos. So I'm looking forward to that and I hope to bring you some excellent, cool Harry Potter content. But today's video is all about wands and my collection. So let's start with my very own wand that shows me at Ollivander's at Universal Orlando theme parks. So this wand is made of alder wood, 17 inches unyielding, just like Bellatrix's flexibility for her wand. And it's got a core of a dragon heartstring. Interactive, of course. And my wife's wand that shows her at Ollivander's is a wand of a birch wood. I think it's about 16 inches, a little shorter than mine. And it's got a phoenix tail feather for its core. Interactive, of course, as well. So we take those to the parks whenever we go with our annual pass. Move those aside. There's going to be a lot of shuffling and reshuffling of wands throughout the video, so bear with me. I want to go next to 13 different wands, and these wands are non-interactive. They're non-character wands. They don't belong to any Harry Potter character, and they're no longer available at Universal Islands of Adventure Universal Studios. These were basically the first generation of wands available at the Wizarding World that you could get from Ollivanders. So let's take a closer look. Each of them has a different wand wood and lengths of their own respect. And this one we have here is a wand of birch wood. As you can see, no little sensor for the interactive wands. Non-interactive, non-character wand. This has made of birch wood. The second one is made of rowan wood. See the menacing skull on the handle. Very ornate all the way down to the bottom. The next one for the third in the set is a wand made of ash wood. Got the cherry red tip there for the handle. The grooves there are very nice to grasp all the way down. Just a normal plain tip. And how the employees at Ollivander's would sell these wands to you, because these weren't part of the sorting, or sorry, wand choosing ceremony that they now have, you would go into Ollivander's, tell them your birthday, and according to when it falls, they would have each wand depending on when your birthday was. So 13 different wands spanned across the whole calendar year. So let's say the first wand made of birch wood was from January 1st to January 28th. And then this one, Rowan, would start January 29th to February 15th, I don't know, and so on and so forth. So that's how we, they would distribute and sell wands to people. But this next one is made of alder wood, just like my wand, very similar, a little shorter, uh, but got the grooves there along the shaft and very cool wand. I like the design, just like my wand. This one is one of the more whimsical designs. A wand made of a willow wood, very squiggly. Like I said, very whimsical looking, super light and just such a cool wand to look at. This next wand is made of hawthorn wood and it's a very traditional, basic look. It reminds me of Muggle Magicians when they try and like 
make a bunny appear out of a hat. Um, the wand that they would use, just very basic black and white type look. This next wand is made of oak wood. That's the same wood that Hagrid's wand was made of. Similar design to the one of Alder. Little brighter, much shorter, and of course squiggly for the shaft. This next wand is made of holly wood, same as same type of wood that Harry's wand is made of. Got the notches along the shaft. That's how it differs from the birch wood wand. Even though they look very similar, there is a difference. This next wand is made of hazel. Very light and squiggly, just like the willow wand. Really like the feel of the handle. Feels nice. Super cool wand. And I picked all these up on the aftermarket, not from Universal themselves, but from people who bought them firsthand and no longer wanted them. So very fortunate to be able to have all 13 of these. This one is made of vine wood, the same wand that Hermione's wand is made of. So not as bright red on the top like the ash wood wand was. Now, this is the most curious wand in my opinion, wand made from ivy. The makers of the wands basically took <laughs> the design of the handle from the hazel wand, you see they're the same, and the same shaft part of the hawthorn wand, the white tip and the black smooth shaft, and basically put them together to form a new wand that's the ivy wand, so I think that's pretty cool. They just took two features from two different wands and mashed them together. This one is made from reed wood. Not much special, looks a lot like the other two. And then the last one, final wand, is made of elder wood. You heard that right. This is an elder wand, not the elder wand, but made from elder wood. That's the 13th and final wand from the non-interactive, non-character, Universal Orlando first generation wand collection. Okay. Now let's finish up here. Curiously enough, going back to exclusive no longer available wands from Universal Orlando. I have not one, but two wands from the special VIP opening ceremony at Universal Orlando Hogsmeade Village. And they gave a thousand, just 1,000 of these wands out to the VIP people in the crowd. And along with several Harry Potter cast members that showed up for the grand opening of the parks, they waved their wands at the castle, and it was a one-time interactive wand. I don't know if you can see, but it's got a little sensor on the tip to light up the castle to officially commemorate the opening of the park. And on the barrel, the base of the wand, if you will, there is the date that the event took place June 16th, 2010. Summer of 2010 is when Universal Orlando Hogsmeade Village opened up in Islands of Adventure. Very cool piece of Harry Potter memorabilia. And I got two wands, super cool. And one of them I display on this Hogwarts wand stand. So I really like that. And this wand, it's not an official wand, but it's an exact replica of Gildroy Lockhart's wand that we see in Chamber of Secrets, the movie. And I have that on display on a Ravenclaw wand stand. It actually came in this purple box from the wand maker. So if I ever decide to dress up as Gildroy Lockhart, I have his wand. And this is the first ever 
version of Newt Scamander's wand. It was released at the San Diego Comic-Con back in 2016, right before the first Fantastic Beasts movie was released in November of 2016. And it came in this little slot, slot pouch thingy for safekeeping. I got that from Newt Scamander. And I have that on display on a Hufflepuff wand stand. Very fitting. And to round off this group of wands, I have Ron Weasley's first wand, poorly repaired with spello tape. So that's pretty cool. And now I'll get the next set of wands and clear all these out for you guys. So. Oh, by the way, I'm curious, um, what Harry Potter character wand would you most like to have? Because there's so many cool, iconic looking wands that we get to see in the movies. And uh, I'm just curious what your favorites are because uh, I've been fortunate enough to get some of my favorites and I'll be showing you very soon in my collection. But leave a comment on whose wand is your favorite from Harry Potter. Alright, so this is a pretty cool piece that I got right here. This is the first ever wand that I got from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando. It's the Elder Wand, Dumbledore's wand. Super cool and personally my favorite looking wand from the movies. And later on, after I got this several years later, I came across this bad boy and it's actually one of the rarest type of Harry Potter wands out there. And I'll explain that to you in a minute and why even it's more rare for someone in the United States to have this wand. Basically, this piece was made by a British company and it basically was made to house all eight of the Harry Potter movies on Blu-ray. So that's where you keep them in there. I can't watch them because they're not for the US territory. But what's interesting about this wand is that it's slightly varied in design than the Universal Orlando Park wand. So this is the wand that people typically have. You could see, I hope you could see the difference. This one's more brighter, you got a whiter mark there on the handle. This one's more darker, faded. The wood in general looks darker. Same length, same grooves and feel and everything, but the color and the look of the wand is slightly different and you're not gonna find that anywhere else other than this um, piece with all these DVDs, wand, and the stand itself together in that set. You're not going to get that wand anywhere else. It's just not available. So uh, that was the main reason why I picked up this particular piece because of the rarity of the wand and the Elder Wand being my favorite movie design for wands. So had to share that with you.
Coming up are the wands from the Fantastic Beasts movies. So I got a couple of them for Christmas most recently. So very excited to share those with you. I saw this bottle for the first time in one of my grocery stores and I just had to pick it up because I've never seen a butter beer in this type of bottle before. Uh, butterscotch beer. Butterscotch beer, it's butter beer for all intents and purposes, but super cool. I've never seen one like this. I don't know if you have, but um, pretty cool design. On to Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, a couple of them for you. Move that. So, so, what did I get for Christmas? Well, I did not just get one, but two Fantastic Beast wands. This was the first. Jacob Kowalski's wand, made of snake wood, has no magical core, technically not a real magical functioning wand, but a decoy wand. Super cool, and it's got that whimsical design. It's just, it's so fun to look at, and when it appeared in the movie, Secrets of Dumbledore, I was like, oh, I hope they eventually make a replica of that. And I'm so glad they did because this is such a cool piece. I love handling this one. And then the second wand I got, that's not it. <laughs> Here it is. This is Credence Barebone, AKA Aurelius Dumbledore's very own wand that he got from Gellert Grindelwald. Very dark and serious. With the metallic section on the handle part there. Very sharp, intimidating look and just such a super cool wand that I was such in awe of when we see it for the first time at the end of Crimes of Grindelwald. So, so glad they made this available and a great Christmas gift that I'll cherish this forever. Now the other Fantastic Beast wands, we have Dumbledore's original wand. Before he had the Elder Wand, he had his own wand and this was it. So we see it used by Jude Law, who plays Dumbledore in the movies. It's got an interesting symbol there, maybe an ancient rune of some sort, but you can actually see through the swirly part there. Very cool. Super light, one of the lightest wands out there that I've ever handled, but Dumbledore's wand, that was a must get for me. So here we have Newt Scamander's wand. I already showed you the first wand that was available. From what I can tell, there's no difference between this one and the one released at San Diego Comic-Con. Um, yeah, they're both the same design, length, color, all that. Nothing really special, just comes with the box. And the last Fantastic Beasts wand is Nicholas Flamel's. Now that's a wand that stands out. <laughs> and it's cool because he's an alchemist that can turn metal into any metal into pure gold. So see this part on the handle, gold all the way around. So we can think that this originally was any type of metal before and he turned that into gold. So it's pretty cool. French wizard and his wand. It's very cool. Hook it like that. Nice. I haven't seen anything like that since Voldemort's wand. Hook it. Love it. That concludes the Fantastic Beasts wands. Now, on to the next group.
These are ones that are available from Noble Collection. So this is Lucius Malfoy's second wand, because obviously the Dark Lord takes his wand at the beginning of Deathly Hallows, and we can assume that Ollivander makes him this wand while he was captured by the Death Eaters, and you see it for a brief moment in Deathly Hallows Part 2 amidst the Battle of Hogwarts. It's hanging at his hip, but it does make a movie appearance. Super cool. Not many people know this wand exists, but it does, and I have it. <laughs> this is a Death Eater wand. It's the stallion design. I got this wand for free at Universal by doing the gift card whole deal thing by gift card or some sort of uh, Universal dollars and you get a free wand. So that was the one I chose. Nothing really special, just the stallion with the handle. And it belongs to a Death Eater. And you know me. Now this is one of the coolest and I think more ornate wands. Even though it's got simple, direct, and just very consistent color. Just straight, not bendy or curvy, nothing like that, just straight. And the metallic section there. This is Rufus Scrooger's wand, a great minister of magic, even if he only served for a brief time. And very cool. It's got a dark, almost chestnut color for the wand. Such a deep, dark red. I love that. I think it suits his strong-willed character very much and only available at Noble Collection. This one is actually not from Fantastic Beasts, but from the Harry Potter movies. This is Gellert Grindelwald's original wand. So it's very splintery and thorny. See, it's got thorns there not very thick it's super light and obviously he had to have his own wand before he captured the elder wand and this was it I don't know if we actually see this wand appear in the movies but they made a wand design for him and this is it so uh, I got this actually before they announced and released the Fantastic Beast movie the first one so that's pretty cool. I got this, and then we get to see him on screen. The height of his reign, so that's a pretty cool piece I like to keep around. Now, this is Grigorovich's wand, the wand maker. So it's one of the wand makers that the Dark Lord goes to to try and help him with his wand problem. He's trying to defeat Harry, and this is, I believe, the same wand maker it is that made Crumb's wand, Grigorovich. So, European wand maker. Pretty cool. If you look closer, it's got some ancient room markings on it. I don't know what they mean, but very detailed and nice piece. That concludes that section. Next, we have Hogwarts professors and their wands. So we got some pretty cool ones coming up. So, this is Professor Slughorn's wand, and all these wands are non-interactive wands, if I didn't mention that before. Professor Slugwine's wand, super cool, a great Slytherin. This is Professor McGonagall's wand, nothing you haven't seen before. There you go. This is Severus Snape's wand. I also got this great book for Christmas as well, Madly 
deeply the diaries of Alan Rickman. So I plan on reading that next. I'm currently in the middle of reading something, but I am so excited to start reading that. Get some insight into one of my favorite Hogwarts teachers. That's his wand. And this is Professor Flitwick's wand, Phileas Flitwick. He's a champion dueler back in his time, you know. And this is the only wand I've gotten from Grigorovich's wand shop at Diagon Alley at Universal Orlando theme parks. And then in here, I have a very special wand, very rare. This contains Mad-Eye Moody's original wand, screen accurate, much shorter than the one that they have available. It's got a certificate of authenticity. Very cool box. Got the notches there. Very natural and earthy feel to it. Similar to his cane or walking stick, I should say. And then the rounded top, very recognizable. But that is Mad Eye Moody's original wand. No longer available. So lucky I picked this up. I love this piece. I hope to dress up as Mad Eye Moody one day, whether just for fun or Halloween, but I have his wand, so. Um, got that part of the caution down. <laughs> so that concludes the Hogwarts professor's wands. Get these out of the way and on to the next set of wands. Moving as fast as I can. Ah, oh, of course we got these two. All right, so. The Elder Wand was the first ever wand I picked up at the Universal Parks, but the second wand I picked up at the parks was Victor Crumb's wand back in 2012. Now, truth be told, I thought I lost this wand. I actually just misplaced it in my house and I bought another wand to replace it, and this was from 2015, and I hope you can see the difference, but the one wand I got in 2012 is much brighter than the bottom one that I replaced it with, so slightly different, and it's sad, but they no longer offer character, or even non-character wands as non-interactive wands at the parks. They only sell interactive wands, which I don't like. I'm not a fan of just interactive wands, but I have two of crumbs. Got Fred Weasley's wand here. Got the pine cone type handle. Very cool. I actually sell this in Weasley's Wizard Weezes with George Weasley's wand. This is Ginny Weasley's wand. At first I got this and Snape's wand mixed up a lot, but I now know the difference. Twirl it. It's nice to look at. Very simple design. And of course, possibly the most iconic and recognizable wand in the wizarding world. I'm not even gonna say whose it is. You know whose wand this is. Alvada Kedavra! Love it. Okay. So, I got one more set of wands to go through. I'm almost done, I promise. But I just want to take this time to thank all my subscribers and viewers for every video I've done in the past. I have 11 subscribers. That's pretty awesome when I think about how far I've come from two years ago to now. I mean, I just want to thank each and every one of you and the highest viewed video I have is I think 92 or 93 views 
Like, what? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm so happy that people are seeing these videos and hopefully getting something out of them, if nothing, being entertained. But I try and do these videos because I'm here, it's just me, and I'm trying to connect with other like-minded, die-hard Harry Potter fans that love the series, especially the books, and everything that goes with it, like myself. So I'm continuing at least one more year. I'll be doing a video every month in 2023, and we'll see how things are at the end of next year, if I continue or not. But it's been so much fun up to this point, two years, and I'm looking forward to the third year. So on to the last set of wands. Everything is. Okay, so Universal back in 2017 started a celebration of Harry Potter, um, releasing a wand along with the celebration of Harry Potter. It would usually take place in January, the beginning of the year, and in 2017 they started releasing wands to go along with the event. Basically, it would be universal encouraging people, fans, to show up dressed up as different characters and they would release a wand every year and I don't have the 2017 wand but I have the 2018 wand right here and it is super cool. It's such a super cool design. I can't say enough cool things about it but look at that. Are you kidding me? Something like this exists? in the world of Harry Potter wands. I mean, look at this. This is sick. Interactive, got the sensors so you could take this to the parks and perform spells. But look at that. Is that not something so cool? This is like medieval looking, like something I expect Godric Gryffindor to use. I mean, super cool, jeweled, and many sides there. Just such a cool wand, and I'm so fortunate to have this. This was released in 2018, limited edition. Can't find it anywhere except the aftermarket. So, very cool. I have that wand, and of course, all interactive wands from Universal come with the park map that shows you where you could do the spells. So that's 2018, and then, there we go. So. For 2017 and 2018, they did the wands. And then 2019, they started uh, Universal Orlando Collector's Edition wand. Not Wizarding World Celebration, but a Collector's Edition for the entire year. So 2019, their first wand, black and gold. I love those colors. There's the wand. And that is the design, much thicker. On all sides a very ornate black and gold very royal like wand got the jeweled end several sides got the tip for the interactive feature but very cool love to play with that one and such a cool looking wand you can't find this anymore it's so hard to come across these wands and I'm just lucky enough to basically be in the right place at the right time collecting these things. So, um, yeah, I'm going to keep collecting them. And let's move on to 2020's wand. So, two years ago, this was the wand Universal released. It's another black and gold wand, but different designs, more ornate and... more mesmerizing, the handle part. Nothing fancy about the shaft, just sleek and black, normal, but look at that. 
If you can't zoom in on the video to see that, look at that. I feel like all these wands would belong to very well off and rich witches and wizards that had a lot of money. But that is so cool. That's a special wand. So that's the wand from 2020. Now, the Collector's Edition Wand from 2021. Nice green box, I like that color. Another pristine, eye-catchy wand. This time, it's got a brown shaft, and it's got the black and gold color just with the handle this time, but it looks like a little flower on top. Some fancy, pretty designs on the handle. Very light. Nothing too flashy about this, just very elegant, and I like it. That was 2021. Here we go. Now, this is the first time since they were doing these collecting collector's edition wands that Universal released basically a companion wand, a different type of wand during the year. Now, this was at the end of last year, 2021. It was, it's a collector's edition wand, but the theme is potions. See, it's shaped like a cauldron. Dang, it's like the potion is exploding in the air. Gold, all the way up the black shaft in. These could actually stand on its own on a flat surface like that. Pretty cool. No other wand can do that, as far as I know. But yeah, interactive, just like all the others. And along with the 2021 Collector's Edition wand, they released this wand during the same year. So, that's a cool one. And then the last of the Universal Collector's Edition wand is this year's 2022 Universal Orlando wand. And this is fully brown with the gold, much different than the black and gold wands in previous years, much thinner than the others, just as light, interactive as well, but not much going on there, just swirly designs along the handle end, and then circular rounded gold tip. So nothing too characteristic about this one, just a nice fancy looking wand. And finally, we've come to the final wand in my collection, the 50th wand that I'm showing you guys today. If you've stuck around, thank you. I know this has been a long video and I hope it will be well worth the wait with this wand. This is the first ever commemorative wand from the Harry Potter traveling exhibition. Now I wasn't the first owner of this wand, I bought it second hand, but the person I did buy the wand from got it from the exhibition directly, and it was somewhere in Japan that the exhibition went to, because if you don't know, the Harry Potter exhibition travels around not just the United States, but the entire world, promoting the love, magic, and the making of Harry Potter, and Right now they're doing things in Chicago and I think New York or something, but this came out before Universal uh, Wizarding World opened in 2010. So this is actually older than the original Mad-Eye Moody wand. So this is easily the oldest wand 
in my collection. I haven't had it the longest, but in terms of years, it is the oldest wand. I have got the nice gray rounded and gray handle, round shaft for the wand. Pretty basic, basic design, nothing to write home about, but in terms of rarity, this is up there in like top tier. Like, you might come across this wand once in your life, so I just couldn't pass it up. It was, it was too cool a piece, and I don't know if I said it in this video, but wands are one of my favorite things to collect as a Harry Potter fan, by far. So cool. So many different varieties, so many just personalities of the wands themselves, and... Oh, I love it. It's one of the great things I love about being a Harry Potter fan is collecting wands. And this is a pretty special one, no doubt about it. I will not be parting with this anytime soon. So, in there for safekeeping. And that concludes my collection video for the month of December to end the 2022 year. Thank you for watching my videos, for sticking around and supporting me. If you haven't already, please subscribe and look forward to my video next year in January 2023. My name is Chris. This is Potter Tongue. Cheers.